What's up everyone, it's Blandon here from iRefi Mortgages. Today I want to share two good reasons why you should consider topping up whenever you can and always be maxing out your mortgage. Now it's so biased for a mortgage advisor to tell you borrow more money, but I want to share two good reasons and you can make a judgment for yourself. Now one of the biggest reason is in an emergency situation when you need money, often you're in a worse off financial position. And that is actually really, really tough for you to borrow more money. Example is when clients have kids and the wife is on maternity leave and they come to us, they say, hey, Blandon, we're feeling a little bit tight on our finances and we wanna top up for revolving credit uh, for an emergency. And during that time, because they're down to one income, now they've also got a childcare expense often the servicing is a lot tighter and it's really, really tough and it just sucks to have to tell them no, uh, you cannot get that top up. So it's very important to top up when you can so that when there's a time of an emergency, you've already got that money ready to go because the risk that you're trying to avoid is circumstance change. So that's a very, very important reason for you to top up whenever you can. So you might be thinking, Blandon, if I just borrow the extra money, do I need to pay interest on it? No, you don't. Because what happens is with any extra borrowing that you don't use up, you can put it into an offset or revolving credit facility. So this illustration here is to show you how this works. Perhaps this is your mortgage. You might have 500,000. and you've got extra capacity to borrow more money. And this is based on your LVR. So if it's owner occupied, you can borrow up to 80%. Let's pretend this house is one mil. And if it's an investment, you can borrow up to 65%. So in this situation, you can borrow up to 300K. Now in this situation, you'll be able to borrow up to 300K and you could potentially put this on what we call a revolving credit. So for this portion of money that you borrow, you don't actually have to pay interest for. This is very similar to an overdraft account. And if you want a longer explanation on how the revolving credit facility work, we have another YouTube video in my channel. So you can check that out as well. So the second big reason why you would consider topping up whenever you can is because of investment opportunities. So investment opportunities is one of those things that you never know when it will come up. And when there's a good opportunity, you might miss out because you don't have your cash ready. So investment is a very, very important one, whether or not you're thinking about shares or business, or if it's to do with another property purchase, or maybe it's a joint venture, that opportunity might come up and you have to have your funds ready. So topping up for the $300,000 allows you to have that opportunity. Now, one of the biggest challenge that clients face is, well, number one, there's the triple CFA rule, responsible lending code, long story short, the bank is not gonna lend you more money unless they have a very clear purpose of where the fund is going. So if you went to the bank and said, hey, I just wanna have $200,000 sitting in my account, chances are you're not gonna get that approved. So very, very important to talk to a mortgage advisor about the purpose of your lending. So the risk that we're trying to avoid here is policy change. Because if you reflect back to a couple of years ago, when we were investing in properties, we can borrow up to 80% regardless of it being an investment or own occupy. Nowadays, it's down to 65% being the maximum. And remember, when you have this money sitting there, you don't have to pay interest. One of the biggest problem that we see with clients is that when they purchase a new property, they use majority of their savings to put down as a deposit, leaving themselves with little to no cash as a backup. So borrowing the maximum amount and leaving the difference in your bank account or your revolving credit facility is one of the best way to have that fund available when you do need it. And the easiest way to do this is when you purchase the property, very good chance the bank will allow you to borrow the maximum amount 
with the least questions asked possible. As long as you provide the 20% deposit or the 35% deposit, you're good to go. So again, policy changes is one of the big risks that you want to avoid. So always be maxing out. Now, I've created an LVR calculator. This allows you to work out exactly how much capacity you have to borrow on your portfolio. You can download that calculator from the link below. If you want more of this type of video and you want to learn more, I suggest that you check out mortgagesecrets.co.nz. It's content that Andrew and I have put together. It's got lots of lessons that we have learned in the past and we put it in 10 days worth of valuable content for you, absolutely free. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. I've got the link down below. Until next time, we'll talk again. Cheers.